guys, how's it going? It's Flatter Sage here. Um, just thought I'd do a little video. The customer gave was growing uh, some tomatoes. He gave me one of these. It's pretty nice. Nice one. I've never had a yellow tomato. I can't remember what the variety is. This is actually very sweet though. Very sweet. And the whole fruit itself looks nothing like a tomato. Besides the seeds and everything, like, look at how orange that is. It's just, oh man. I like trying different varieties, fruits and vegetables. Um, but I'm not here to talk about fruits and vegetables today. Today, it's been a while since I made a flat earth video. Um, and I just want to talk about some of the progress that Flat Earthers have made throughout the four or five years this has been around. You have to excuse me, I'll munch while I talk. This tomato is really good. Um, so. I got into Flat Earth, must have been the beginning of 2017, I believe. Um, and, uh, you know, when Flat Earth, when I first got into Flat Earth, literally everyone was talking shit. Oh, Flat Earth's so stupid. Oh, it's so dumb. And the whole time, there was only one thing I was asking for. Scientific evidence for these claims. I give people the chance. Oof. Excuse me. I give people the chance to give me their evidence, give me their claims. But the more I listen to these glow believers... They, they don't even have claims. They don't even have evidence. And to me, it's like, if you don't have evidence to support your claims, um, just don't make those claims. Um, but the thing about it is they want to believe. They want to believe so bad that very significant speck of dust I don't know why you'd want to believe that. <laughs> um, first off, that's a pretty dark premise to believe. You know, oh, blah, 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 you know, you're just a speck of dust, you're gonna be warm food, you don't matter, you're, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, but, does matter and the one thing about flat earth that I've come to realize is that once you start on flat earth you don't just learn about flat earth there's a lot of other things that go in into it um, a lot of things that I never even considered before flat earth um, such as one thing, uh, shout out to Jaren from Jarenism, um, was the whole mention of distilled water and how much better it is for you than pure than tap or pur ah, tap or purified. Um, talking about fluoride, the dangers of that, um, vaccines. Um, all these topics, once I got into Flat Earth and I realized, okay, we've been lied to on a grand scale, then these other topics started coming at me. So, and from there, I'm like, all right, you know, I'll just research this, you know, ponder this, and uh, try to come up with some basis of truth. And, uh, the vaccines 
as far as vaccines go, it's probably gonna, this could get me removed from YouTube. But I don't really care. Susan, have at me. Um, before I got into Flat Earth, I was under the assumption that vaccines help. They save lives, and they keep us from getting sick. None of which is true. Um, that's how I came into the whole aspect of herbal medicine. And uh, basically, you know, I, I realized that the Western civilization has completely done away with, pretty mu for the most part, pretty much done away with herbal medicine. And it kind of goes back to the Bible in the book of Genesis. God said, said that anything, certain translations use certain different wording. Um, but to summarize it, basically said, all green seed bearing herbs I give unto you. To you it shall to you it shall be food. Um, now I don't think that a lot of people have really pondered this passage. We're talking herbs, that's pretty much anything that grows. <laughs> um as long as it I believe as long as it's not a tree. Um But, uh, and I remember when I first heard that, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, he's created all green things, you know, cucumbers, you know, tomatoes, what have you, all those things. But he wasn't just talking about vegetables. We saw about all green plants. And the reason why he told us all green plants is because they're all beneficial to our health. There's even poisonous plants that if prepared correctly, um, if uh, properly cultivated and prepared correctly, it can be an effective medicine, a safe and effective medicine. Um, you know, that's why he said to us it would be food, because the the food is intended to be our medicine. There's a reason why things like cancer, AIDS. All this stuff didn't exist back in the biblical days. Now, don't get me wrong. There is there was plenty of diseases in biblical days, but the diseases there there weren't as much as there is today. First off, and second off, um, the the reason that people get sick or get diseased in the first place is because. Um, their nutrient intake isn't right. Um, you know, that's why things like, um, you know, that's why th they, like, things like, um, uh, feverfew can help headaches, um, yarrow can help inflammation, um, you know, uh, Malane can help with respiratory and lung health. You know, they all have their certain attribute. That's why he wants to eat us to eat it and eat it all. Because when he created those plants, he had us in mind. He had his safe, our safety and our health in mind. And it is like, oh, you know, I'm going to create humans. So let me create the plants that they need 
to eat to be able to sustain their bodies. Um, anyway, that's my little rant. Got to go inside. I love all you guys. Hope that all is well with all of you. Peace.